Now that you've done the majority of setup, let me show you a few key features that you can do inside of Begin. So once again, my name is Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today what I'm going to be showing you is how to set up email templates. Seems easy, but there's a lot of tips and tricks I can show you to get your business on autopilot. So how to do this is you'll hit the settings and begin, and then you'll actually go to email and then templates. So once here, Zoho Begin gives you a template out of box. It's called the big deal alert. Very few of our clients use it. But in any case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit new template. When you hit new template, I can actually choose the module that the template will go in. Uh, so in this example, I'm actually going to do it in the deals. So this is super important because whatever module you choose here is where it can actually send from in a workflow rule. So if you choose deals, you can only automate this email from the deal module, meaning if you go change a status inside the contact, nothing will happen. So make sure you choose the right module. So for this example, I'll choose deals. I'll hit next. And now I'm inside of the deal mod, or sorry, inside of the template builder. So you have to do a few things. You got to name it something. So automated deal notification. This will not be seen by clients, the template name. So you can name it whatever you want. You can put a number in it or whatever. The subject will be seen by clients. So I recommend being as uh, descriptive as possible and, and put something that they'll actually open, right? So um, in this example, I'm gonna do an internal email template that I'm gonna send to my team. So no client will see it. So new deal one. And one of the cool tricks you can do here is you can actually hit the hashtag and start typing out fields. So what I'll do is I'll show you that in the body of the template. So new deal one. So I'm going to say, hi, team. We have a new deal that has been one. Details below. So we do this a lot with systems we do. And now when I type hashtag, you can see that it brings up everything within the deal. You can also click here and choose anything from other modules. So for example, if the deal is connected through a lookup into the company, you can pull anything from the company. So let me show you what you can do here. This is what I typically do for clients. So deal name. So I hard code the deal name, meaning this will always show. And then I do hashtag and I bring in deal name. So if the deal was called car sale, it would say deal name colon car sale. Closing date. It's usually pretty, pretty important. So you type hashtag, you find the date, maybe salesperson, hashtag, oops, hashtag deal owner is the salesperson typically, and then account name. And again, this is just an example. So this would be company name. So I'll change this to company name. So now what will happen is when this email template is used, either automatically, which I'll show you in another video, or manually, it'll autofill that detail. Thanks. Now you can hit save. Just so you know, you can also attach files. You can also insert images. You can do all kinds of text building and, and uh, highlighting, things of that nature. We'll hit save. And then I'd recommend getting organized with your templates. So I'm gonna call this um, deal templates. And you can choose who's allowed to see this. Now this is important because if you don't allow someone to see it, they can't actually send it. So if people, through an automation, you can get around that. But let's say you want someone to pull up an email manually. You're going to want to allow them to see it. So I'll just hit all users and hit save. Now, just to show you how this looks, I'm going to go into a deal here. Oops. So now I'm in a deal. And I can hit send email right here. So when I hit send email, you'll see it brings up the email template builder. And you can choose template. Guess what's here? There you go. So you can see when I choose it, it fills in the testing deal. That's the name, fills in the date, fills in the name, et cetera. So this is what it would look like manually if someone on your team wants to send out a template. As I said in another video, I'll show you how to automatically send this. Thanks.